Hi guys, and welcome to Share Bear Toys. This is Bruce. Today we've got something new from Mega Bloks. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Out of the Shadows figure series. These are from Nickelodeon and they're all about the movie, so they look really cool. I think it's time to get into them and get started. You think today, guys, we'll go from the top of our pyramid down. I don't want to knock them off though. But look at this. This is Casey Jones. Very cool looking with his hockey mask and his hockey stick. And there's all the ones we can collect here. We've got them all right here in front of us, so this is going to be nice. Let's get in here. Let's look at our insert first. It'll show you little directions on how to put these guys together. Now this one says it has 16 pieces. Now here's a better look at all the figures. Dun, dun, dun. All the turtles, Casey Jones, a foot soldier, and who is this guy? I don't know who that guy is, but I guess he's a foot soldier without this red bandana type thing. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here's Casey. Now, the only thing I wish with this figure is that they could have had a little more detail on his mask. I really love the picture on the box. Look at that. I mean, that looks very cool. So I wish they could have done like a little of these lines here in the front of the mask or done something as far as the eyes. That would have been cool. Let's see him from behind. But I'm glad they finally did introduce this character into their figure, so very nice. I like it. Okay, next let's move to this foot soldier with the red across his helmet there. Now this one says the foot soldier bike attack. Alright, this one says 16 pieces also. So let's get it together and let's take a look. Okay, now here's our foot clan soldier from the bike attack. Very cool. I do like his big sword here. Got some pretty cool armor, and I like his helmet. That visor on the helmet is what makes the whole deal right there. So I am looking forward to seeing this movie. I think Braden and I are gonna go see it real soon. Very nice. And next up we have the other foot soldier. This is the Katana foot soldier. Very cool. Now he looks a little more like our typical foot soldier, except he doesn't have the red bug eyes. <laughs> it almost looks like sunglasses on, or goggles on top of that helmet there, so that's cool. All right, let's check him out. Okay, guys, and here's our other foot soldier. Very similar, he's just got a little red on his armbands, and again, the helmet with the goggles. But other than that, they're almost the same figure. Just a different head, basically, and different arms. Okay, different head, different arms. Alright, they're ready to do the dirty work of Shredder. Alright guys, it's time for our turtles. Who's your favorite turtle? Let me know in the comments. So which one should we go for first? Hmm. I think this Mikey as the pirate looks pretty cool. So let's get Mikey. Now what I did notice about these boxes is they have a little bit of tape right here. So it makes it a lot harder to get into. So I'm gonna try to get rid of that. There we go. So much better. All right. Now I will give this to uh, Nickelodeon and Paramount who did the movie. These boxes and these pictures look really awesome. So I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of these figures, but for the new movie, they're very cool. All right, this is Mikey the Pirate. Let's get him out and get him put together. Now, just when I was saying that about Mega Bloks and the Foot Soldiers, they come through in a big way on the turtle figures. Now this one has 21 pieces, and this is Mikey as the pirate, and like I say, wow, very nice here. Cool shell, all in black this time, black pants and a black little vest. Got his nunchucks there, hoo -yah! Probably the hardest thing to put together on Mikey was just these little wristbands here. They're hard to get over his hands, but 
Got a cool little sash at his waist and some cool little boot wrap things. So that's a very cool figure there. So this is starting to make this series worth it right here, guys. Very nice. All right, guys, I think next I'm gonna go for Donatello right here in the middle. And this says Donnie, Camo Donnie. Okay, so his outfit should have a little bit of camo to hide him. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know what scenes these are from, but looks pretty cool. Got his staff. There's the old purple. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so here we have Donnie, and he actually has two pieces less than Mikey, but he was a little more intricate to put together. Look, because this uh, these straps go over his shell, and over his shoulders and then under his arms and around here to the front and they connect. Then he has these arm pieces, but he's got his bow or staff, whatever we want to call it. And he's a little more lime green than his brother. Let's compare those real quick. Look how bright Donnie is compared to the, the more muted Mikey. Mikey's more like an olive green and Donnie is bright green that's right so very cool guess it's supposed to be like his tech pack but he is ready to fight i do like these very nice so far let's get to my two favorites leo and raf wow this is a hard choice but i think raf looks really cool with that helmet in his paratrooper outfit we're gonna go with Leo in the stealth mode. Very cool. I love the color blue. All right, Leo. Oh, look at this, guys. That's gonna be pretty awesome. Let's get it together. I don't know guys, I know I said I like Raphael the best, but look at this Leo, awesome. Look at that color, he is in stealth mode. And look at those clear swords, that's very cool, very cool. This might be my favorite today, I don't know. We'll have to see, but one thing I did wanna say about these new Mega Bloks figures is that they're very, very poseable. These bend or rotate at the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. So you can do a lot of different poses. So I'm kind of trying to do the ones on the box. Let's see if we get Mikey in here and we'll look at him. Ta-da! Let's see, we need to put that arm across here a little more. In front, there we go. Kind of like that, very cool. But I think this one is probably the best one out of the bunch so far. Let's see what Raphael has to offer. Okay, let's do it. The man in red. And this says this is his paratrooper outfit. Let's see if we get a good surprise here. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Let's see what his parachute and everything look like. All right, guys, and here is Raph ready for his jumping out of the plane with his parachute, but he also is ready to fight. All right, look at him. I like the helmet, the red goggles going with his red mask. I don't know, pretty cool. Look at his muscles in there. Dun, dun, dun. And his shell is brown, whereas the other guys are black, of course, except for Leo in stealth mode, but I will say this, as far as this whole collection, the turtles definitely make up for what the foot soldiers are lacking, so very cool. All right guys, so here's all our figures we opened today, give you a little closer look. Make sure to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Now I think what I'm gonna do, just so you guys can see by comparison, we have some Ninja Turtle blind bags. They are from an earlier series, but we can compare the figures and see what the detail is like. Okay, so here's one of our Series 1 Ninja Turtle blind bags. And even though these are Mega Blocks, these are more from the television show than from the movie. So let's just see what the difference is. 
And that way we can tell by comparison. Now I believe this feels like a shell in here, so I think it's gonna be one of the guys. Let's see, oh it is. And it looks like Donatello. Now before I forget, I wanna tell you guys that we just did a really cool Donatello giant Play-Doh surprise egg. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. And I wanna get this guy together so we can compare their bodies. Alrighty. So here's Donatello from the television show, and these are from the blind bags. I will actually say I didn't know, but their bodies are a hair bigger. You can see he's a, a little bit wider and thicker than this Donnie. Now again, this one has a little bit more intricate detail from the movie, but this guy is still a pretty cool figure, I like his staff. There's the shell. Now the only difference is is that on the ones from the TV show, they only move at the shoulder and the wrist. Shoulder and wrist and at the knee. So they've got like one less movement because these guys can move at shoulder, elbow, and wrist. Okay? So, very cool both of them. And I will give a big thumbs up to the movie ones. Look at that. I really do like these. So I had a great time today, guys. I hope you did. If you did, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, once again, let me know in the comments what was your favorite Mutant Ninja Turtle that I opened today. Then don't forget, go check out all our Giant Play-Doh Surprise Egg videos, especially the ones of Mutant Ninja Turtles. Come back and see me again real soon. This is Bruce. Thanks for watching.